Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day and you're enjoying Minecraft so far. Uh, in the last episode we left off, it was nighttime. And uh, our little wheat farm is doing okay here. Our cows are doing fantastic. And uh, we just keep planting seeds. So um, it is nighttime. It's dangerous to be out. So let's go inside. And let's continue mining. Now, I grabbed all the cobblestone that we had in the previous episode, and I'll show you why. If you draw a stair pattern like this, you can actually make stairs. And uh, these are very useful because they allow us to get up and down the stairs without um, having to jump every time. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to make ourselves a little bit of headroom to make this work. Um, but the exciting part is that we are going back down into the mines and we're going to see if we can find uh, ourselves some really good resources. So what you what you can see here is instead of these all being three tall, three blocks tall, they're now all four tall. And that will just buy us a little bit of extra headroom, which is necessary to use the stairs. I'm using a shovel for the dirt and a pickaxe for the stone. Uh, now the gray stone is one thing and there's this this stuff here, which is granite and there's also the white stuff that I just hit which is Diorite and there's a different uh, kind of gray stone. That's called andesite and uh, You know what we're gonna do or actually we're gonna take these out as well um, That is a drop And our stone pickaxe has almost bit the dust and uh, we'll upgrade to iron and then I don't think we'll ever go back Oh there it broke so let's use the iron pickaxe, and we'll take these out. Oh, oh yeah, there's that water. I forgot about that. Remember that pool of water we fell into? Yeah, there it is. All righty. Uh, okay, so here's how the stairs work. We'll actually stick a set right here. And as you can see, it's not a total block. and you can push right up it just by uh, pushing into the side of it. There, you don't have to press the jump button at all, which is fantastic. And did I just take out, yeah, no, that'll, I did, I actually lowered this one more, uh, but that's okay. Whoops. Wow, water runs through there? I did not realize that that would work. That's quite interesting. Let's stick a block there to stop it. Oh, it's a waterlogged staircase. That's why. Okay, we'll pick up that water with our bucket, and then we'll put the stairs there. Yeah, that's a lot faster. All right, so I'm going to get this staircase done, and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, I am back, and as you can see, I put in all the stairs for the staircase, and it is a bit taller than it used to be, so we will not bump our head going up and down anymore, and that is a very good thing. Uh, we will, however, bump our head here, because that's just the nature of this. And let us continue to dig down. We are starting to get pretty darn hungry, so we're... Oh. Guys, we just struck a cave here, and we're going to want to be careful, because there could very well be dangerous stuff that wants to kill us. So sword in hand here. Okay, this looks pretty empty. Pretty innocuous. All right, so oh, there's some iron. We're going to grab that. There's some coal. We're going to grab that. And there's a new substance. It's actually gold ore. And while it is dark and scary here, let us put a torch up here just to discourage monsters a little bit. Now, you can control the flow of lava by introducing cobblestone to block its path, and it will sort of dry up like that. But you want to be very careful, because lava touching you is extremely bad for your health. It sets you on fire, and it takes a while to get put out. However, if you have a bucket of water on you like I do, you can just dump your water out and jump in it, and then you'll be okay. All right, uh, so here we're going to grab this iron, and every time I grab three iron, and here is six, I think to myself, oh boy, another iron pickaxe. So there's two more iron pickaxes, and of course we're going to need some coal to smelt that iron, so let's grab that as well. And then we're going to grab this gold ore, and it works a little like iron in that it doesn't drop gold, but it drops the ore itself. And then you have to put it in a furnace with some coal 
to turn it into gold. See, there it is right there. Um, now, you if you try to mine gold with a stone pickaxe, I don't think it works. I think you need an iron pickaxe. Oh, and look at this. We have another new substance. This is lapis lazuli. Uh, it is used for enchanting and other magical things like that. And you always want to be careful when you're digging straight up because if you get a block that can fall, like uh, sand or gravel, which we've already encountered, uh, it can fall on you and start to suffocate you. Uh, lapis does um, give experience as well, so that's a very exciting thing. Let's grab this iron in addition. And uh, because we are getting so hungry and because it's been nighttime for a little bit, I think we are going to head back upstairs and see if we can't find some sheep to shear some wool and uh, start taking care of our inability to go to bed at nighttime and turn it into day. Although a thought occurs to me that, uh, oh, look, I'm so hungry now I can't run any longer. The abandoned mine shaft that we discovered has a bunch of spider webs in it, and spider webs can be harvested for string, and string can be actually be crafted together to make wool, which you could then use to make a bed. Now it's a bed made out of essentially crafted spider webs, but still, it sleeps just the same. Uh, let me put a torch down so you guys can see. It's darker on YouTube than it is on my screen, so you'll have to forgive me if I let it get a little too dark from time to time. That's a dead end. Uh, that's lava. This red stuff here is called redstone, and uh, we're not going to grab that just yet. But we could. We could with our iron pick. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take this iron and coal up to the surface and smelt some more iron so we can make some more stuff. We need more armor anyway. We could stand to have an iron sword instead of a stone sword, which would do a better job of fighting bad guys. And so I... I just, I think it's probably time to stop tempting fate and to head up, 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 up our staircase. Although, let's grab this iron ore while we're here. It is difficult to have too much iron in this game, even late game. It's not just an early game thing. Okay, now, uh, let's grab our stairs. Make sure we have our bucket of water on us, too, in case something awful happens and we touch lava and catch on fire. And we're just going to set these stairs here as we go up. Oh. This staircase is a little too narrow, isn't it? Uh, this is why I try to do some of this stuff off camera earlier in this episode, just because it takes a little bit of time. Um, but that's okay. I'll skip setting the stairs down for now. And actually, we're so close. We may as well. And then I'll show you how slick the stairs can be with the rest of the staircase that goes up. Okay, you ready? Look how nice that is. I'm not even jumping. That is the way to go, let me tell you. All right, I wonder if it's daylight right now. We need a window. Oh, it's raining. Interesting. I hear the cows. The cows are making noise. Okay. First things first, let's uh we'll take that raw pork chop out of there and we'll stick these 28 iron in. And you can remember that a piece of coal will do uh eight. So three of them will do twenty-four, and then we'll have four pieces of iron ore left over. Let's dump some stuff in our chest so that if we die, we don't drop it all. And uh yeah. I think we're okay for now, although we should probably have the wheat on us. Oh, that's right, and we're getting hungry. Okay, so here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna harvest some of this fully grown wheat, replant the seeds, always replant the seeds, and the more seeds you get, the more you can plant, and the more that is planted, the more you can grow. Three, four, five, six. All right, our farm is full. And I don't have a hoe on me to do some more. Let's feed our cows. Just the adults, so that they have more babies. Okay? That also nets us experience. And then... Uh, we've got... We've got enough wheat here to make a loaf of bread. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to eat the bread.
and that restored some of our hunger. We're also going to take this meat, and while you can eat raw meat, it is not as good for you. Uh, it does not come with as many benefits as cooked meat, so we're going to cook it. We just need um, eight pieces of cobblestone for another furnace. Here we go. And we'll stick the furnace. Come on now. Uh, we'll stick the furnace here so that we can cook this while our iron is smelting. And speaking of iron, let's take some of it out and uh, we can make a pair of boots like that. And we can also make leggings like this. And we'll take the leggings and then the boot pattern will be left and we'll take the boots and then we can stick those on. Let's see how they look. Let's see how our new outfit looks. There's pants, very good. And boots, very good. All right, now. Did we cook a pork chop? We did. Can we eat a pork chop? We can. And we're still a little hungry. So let's see how our bread, how our wheat is doing. There we got two more here. And I think we already had one, so that would be three. Right? Yeah, we have three. So let's turn those three into a bread. Now, I'm going to fill up here and then watch my health. Wait for it. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, when you're not hungry, you can regenerate your health. Which is a wonderful thing. Um, we could be using mushrooms, in fact, to make some mushroom stew if we had some bowls. But I kind of like these mushrooms being here, so I'm going to let them stay. Uh, what we do need, though, is another piece of wheat soon so that we can... Oh, here we go. So that we can lure some uh, unsuspecting sheep over here if they are willing to participate. Let's expand the cow pen just a little bit. And you don't want to accidentally hit a cow with your shovel. They will get upset and be have their feelings hurt as well as their bodies, and they will eventually die. Uh, if you hit them too many times. Now, let's see. Oh, here is an important thing. This is sugar cane. And if you hit it at the bottom, it all breaks like that. And then you can replant it um, one at a time and they'll all grow just as tall over time. Uh, so that's the way that you multiply those. Let's just stick them right here for now. They have to be planted next to water. So this is a good spot. This won't work. I press the button and nothing happens. Let's also stick a torch nearby so that those will grow when it's dark out. And it is getting dark out. And I'm a little annoyed that I haven't seen a single sheep yet. Nice thing about this nice thick forest is that the rain does not get to the ground quite so easily. Where was that big open spot that we saw earlier? Oh yeah, over here. Well, I see a zombie convention. I don't see any sheep. Zombies are pretty slow, but they can be dangerous in groups. So if you can kind of circle and back away, you'll, uh, you'll bunch them up then your aim does not have to be so good. And we gain experience from that, and that is nice. And here's another one. Now, if you jump and you're on your way down when you hit them, you hit them with a critical hit, and they die sooner because there's more damage being done. Are there any sheep out here? There's some more cows. Well, look at this sheep, or this zombie. He's wearing... Oh, he's wearing golden armor, and look, he has a baby zombie on his back. Um, I also saw a skeleton who's probably shooting at me with a bow and arrow. So we're glad that we have... Uh, oh, we're glad that we have armor on right now. Let's try and take care of this skeleton first. Ow. Combat can be quite dangerous, especially if you don't have the proper armor. I'm glad at least we have some decent armor. Hi, cow. 
Oh, he's still shooting at me. Okay, let's take this guy out here. There we go. That's better. And then I want to take a closer look at this guy with the golden armor on because he is making me laugh right now. Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy here. I know I'm spinning in a lot of circles, but it's a good way to do combat. Okay, if we look down and jump, and here we could see, whoops, we could see that there is a baby zombie. Ugh, oh, good grief. Holding on to the shoulders of that adult zombie, which is kind of adorable. Okay, we're going to see if he will drop any of his golden armor. The armor does make them harder to kill. Okay, now the little ones are a lot faster. I don't know why he's running away. Usually they like to attack. Come here, little guy. He seems to be a bit bugged. Are you scared and alone? You're not interested in attacking me? Okay, let's see if this one will drop a shovel. He did! Alright, so now we have an iron shovel, which is a nice upgrade. And we are going to go ahead and... Oh, I'd attack that cow, but it's got a baby with it, and I... It feels a little mean. I just really... What I really want here is sheep. And there just don't seem to be any. Oh well. All right, back home we go. I'll hold the wool in case the sheep notice me without me noticing them. I like the way the rain sound changes when you're underneath the awning of the trees here. It's kind of cool. As, uh, as blocky as the game is, it still creates some decent atmosphere. Yeah, there's the old cow pen. Okay. No sheep for the sheep pen yet. That's fine. Um, so in the next episode, we'll go into, why is it raining inside of my house? Oh, it's not anymore. Okay. So in the next episode, we'll go into the abandoned mine shaft and we'll collect a bunch of, um, a bunch of the, uh, cobwebs so we can make ourselves a bed and that'll be a lot of fun. We'll do some other stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the series and, uh, I'll see y'all later.